All right, welcome back, everybody. And today we are going to do our second gameplay with Praise Kefnet. This is in a very good hand. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep it. Having a lot of hand or lands with this deck is very good. All right, let's see what we're up against in this matchup. Last matchup was a mono blue. This praise Kefnet versus um, mono blue mill, and we won 2-0. So it looks like another control deck, which we should do fairly decent against. So we'll see. We'll see. Island. Passes. All right. This is another control matchup. So this is going to be all about thinking what we should counter, what we shouldn't counter. Basically, you counter anything that's crucial to their game plan. Uh, counter anything that disrupts your game plan. Or counter any card draw. It's a significant card draw. I'm talking about things like Glimmer of Genius and Pull From Tomorrow. I don't think this deck pull plays Pull From Tomorrow, but... Things like Settle the Wreckage. This deck plays a ton of sweepers. Main and sideboard. Uh, we're going to cycle. Cycle Desert and the Mindful. Draw a card. That's the, kind of the reason he kept his hand. is because Desert can cycle out. Kefnet's Monument. I think we get this try to this resolve, right? This is approach, so we don't need to worry about having to counter anything. Does he let this resolve? If I was him, I wouldn't let it resolve, but he does let it resolve. All right, so he's free to run whatever he wants to do on turn four. He's probably going to main phase Glimmer if he has a land. It's my best guess. He's going to destroy my Ipnu Everlet. Okay, well, we're not playing Mill, so I don't really care. Just You're just thinning out my deck for me. And he gave me an untapped land that doesn't really matter. I've seen a lot of this blue-white deck. I saw a lot of it um, before the Pro Tour, and I'm glad I'm starting to see it again. It's a very good deck. It's a very annoying deck when you're playing a creature-based deck. Kind of like we, we almost are playing a creature-based deck. Uh, we're going to play Brawl. See what he does. If it resolves, we should be fine. He's going to counter it. Oh, he's going to Glimmer. Uh, we actually Supreme Will this. Card draw is just so bad. We want him to have anything but card draw. All right. It's smart that he did the Glimmer there. I would have main phase Glimmer. Um... Because I'm tapped out. You're, I'm a mono blue deck. I'm running counters. It's basically guaranteed. I think he... Uh, I don't think he should have field of ruined. I think he thinks we're a mill deck, but we're not. And we could use that to our advantage. I don't think he thinks we're a mill deck anymore. We're playing Kefnet's Monument and Brawl Chief of Compliance. I think he is understanding that we are a... Um, praise Kefnet deck. Honestly, this Kefnet's Monument isn't bad. If It would be a the best monument if it said whenever you cast a creature spell, tap target creature and it doesn't untap. That would make this card bananas. Um, Alright, is he going to main phase Glimmer now? He's going to cast out what? Probably Brawl or Kefnet's. I would have done... Yeah, okay. It's not crucial to our game plan. It's just nice to have cheapened spells. Okay, plays a tap land. All right, we have a Torrential Gear Hulk on five, and that's the beauty of Kefnet's Monument. A Torrential Gear, a five mana, five, six flash that lets you play something from your graveyard for free is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. We want him to have anything but card draw. Unfortunately, we're not really hitting anything important. All right, we're gonna cycle. This would be the time to glimmer. Yep. K 
Okay, we're going to negate that. We got to keep him from drawing cards. As much as we can. Essence Scatter and Supreme Will. So we have six. Okay. Well, we're just going to pass. We really need our own Glimmer. This is kind of bad for us. I think the longer the game goes on... Like, this guy's just got to have just creature removal in his hand. Uh, we'll pass again. We have card advantage right now. But you never know. Alright, we're gonna cycle our third desert. Sphinx. Gale Strike. One, two, three, four, five. We can't play Sphinx. I mean, it's just... Yeah, we can't play Sphinx. We gotta leave up counters. He's a one, two, five, eight land. He's probably waiting till 10 so he can... Um, no, because even if... I don't know. It's important to... Um, get to counter the second approach, not the first. Or any pa any any uh, approach to the second sun after the first one is a very important one to cast or to counter. Otherwise, you lose. So we're on seven. This costs five. This costs five. So we could Sphinx and leave up a Supreme Well. We gotta start doing something. This gives us card draw, forces a counter out of his hands. Oh, we can't. We can't Supreme Well. I forgot. I don't have Brawls. Well, yeah. Okay. Essence Scatter. Rather have him counter that than Torrential Gear Hulk. I would like a Glimmer of Genius, though. If he's got a Glimmer here. God damn it. Yep. That resolves. Of course, his hand is counter plus Glimmer. Yikes. Yeah, that's not good. Card draw is so important. He just drew all three of his glimmers in the top 20 cards of his deck. Like, there's just nothing we can do about it. Uh, we'll play Kefnet. What you got, opponent? Disallow. That resolves. God, man. Fortunately for us, he's not progressing his own game plan. He's just delaying ours. Opt resolves. Eventually, the Supreme Will is not going to be doing anything. And I think we just have to use it on an end step here. Makes the most sense. Okay. Supreme Will. Uh, Essence Scatter, Glyph Keeper, Gear Hulk. Uh, just any order. Gear Hulks are important. I was hoping for a Glimmer there, but we didn't get it. All right. So we have we have a negate in the side in the graveyard. Yeah. Okay. We have a, two Supreme Wheels and a negate. Those are our. All right. Do we try for a Gear Hulk here? Probably. Oh, wait, it's his turn. He's looking at the top four cards of his deck. Hmm. We could we could probably counter this. What's our what's the worst thing he does to us though? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. What you got? Okay, disallow. All right. As long as we make him burn cards, we should be okay. Because right now we have more cards than him. Well, not for long. We'll have the same amount of cards. It's going to be interesting. Gale Strike's not doing anything. This deck is very built against a creature-heavy meta, which this meta is. And we just happen to run against two spell-heavy control decks. Uh, yep. 
We draw a Kefnet. We can both Kefnet and Torrential Gear Hulk to counter if he's got a counter for Kefnet. Kefnet is good to resolve. All right, it resolves. Undoubtedly, he's got some removal in his hand, right? Or a sweeper. Here it comes. Feel the ruin, our Ipnu Rivulet. Again, don't really care. This might come down to. Um. It actually might come down to who mills himself. And right now, I think we're ahead of the mill game. He's adding a whole bunch. Cycles. Looking through his deck for his approach. Ops resolves. Where is he putting it? Bottom. That's good. Alright, we need to start smashing face with this Kefnet. I wonder if this deck plays current show Gear Hulk. I don't I think it remains I'm I think it main boards one copy. And it might sideboard more. I'm actually not sure. Alright, one, two, three, four. Activate his ability. Draw a card. Okay, he's gonna probably cast out or something. Okay. Uh yeah, we can't really do anything about that. Alright. You guys kinda good in this deck. I might throw in one reverse rebuke, because if he's gonna run like enchantment removal. Um Oh, we had to draw this negate right now. Gross. He's stopping me on upkeep. That's weird. Well, our trench, he is just, I mean, right now, milling might be the way to win. That's actually my thought process. Do we trench gear Gearhulk here for, with Supreme Will and get a Supreme Will back and back it up with Negate? Probably. And then if he tries to settle the wreckage, we just Gale Strike it back to our hand. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're going to try to Torrential Gear Hulk. It resolves. We're going to Supreme Will. Okay. Cast Supreme Will. Look at the top four cards. Okay. Unesh and Gale Strike. Or Ipnu Rivulet. Unesh gives us card draw. Any order. Okay. Uh, go to combat. He's got to have Settle the Wreckage in his hands. Right? Get in for five. He might as well burn it if he's got it. Nope. He's going to let it through. We're going to play a land. We're at 10, so this is 5. We have enough for everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Unesh. Get some card draw going. All right, he lets it resolve. Apparently, his two cards aren't very good. So this is the time to pressure. Glimmer of Genius is probably the pile we choose. He's probably going to go Land Glimmer. Interesting. We have... Ah, okay. That makes sense. I think Glimmer is just too good not to pick. If Unesh draws us a Glimmer, like that's his Enter the Battlefield effect, then that's still really good. Yeah, there's no way we don't pick Glimmer a genius. Okay. We have five up. Which means we shouldn't play Glimmer on end step. We don't have a Kefnet out, so we don't have to worry about card hand size. But right now, he should know we're, we're in the dominant position. We have more cards. We have the board. We have... He doesn't know, but we have two counter spells for whatever situation he's got. I feel like we are in good position. He might have Settle the Wreckage in his hand, but Negate kind of 
negates that. I think we do glim. No, we can't glimmer. But I think we if he just passes, we just pass. Is this fumigate? Yeah. Uh negate that. Okay. Does he have so the wreckage in his hand? Because right now we are really far ahead. And that's very good. All right, he's got another one, looks like. Approach of the second sun. Okay. He goes up to 22. No cards in hand. It's coming down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna go to combat. Get in for nine. All right. Let's think. We have 10 mana. If he draws approach off the top, like any, not the approach he just cast, but any approach, what do we do? We can, we can figure that out when the time comes. Let's just react to what he's got. We got the hand. He doesn't. He's off top decks looking for an answer. Okay. He's passing, so we glimmer. Kefnet and Brawl. Actually, I don't think we keep either of those. We don't need creatures. We need counter spells. We can always Gale Strike our Torrential Gear Hulk back, then play it. Actually, okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good point. All right. We're going to go to combat. Get in for nine. It's got to be a sweeper at some point. He's got Settle the Wreckage. Wow. That's brutal. All right, what do we do? Do we Supreme Will look for an answer? Probably. Supreme Will. Look for look for negate. You, you can't count you can't counter my guy. I'm looking for an answer to your thing. He top deck settle a wreckage. And we don't draw it. Uh, we pick up Glimmer. Or do we pick up a land? Eight. We pick up the land. Any order. Uh, then we go one, two, three. Gale Strike our Torrential Gear Hulk back to our hand. Oh, we drew how oh, we drew an essence cannon. Yeah. Alright. All right, this lets us replay Torrential Gear Hulk. Which is good. That was a... That was the top deck he needed, but... It's... Unf you know, we have Gale Strike. So what is he going to do? We're just going to replay Torrential Gear Hulk. It's... I, I know it's our only thing against... Um, approach... But we're still a few turns away from that. We're going to Glimmer. Okay. Glimmer. Cast. Get some more energy. Get some more card advantage. Oh, oops. Okay. Another Glimmer. Another land. Both on the bottom. We Do we have all three negates in the... We might. Alright, let's just go to combat. Get in for five. Set him down to eight. One, two, three, four. Then we leave up Gale Strike for Gear Hulk. Right? Yeah, that's the right play. Okay. Oh, this is a 20 minute match. 
I don't know if I can handle more of this. <laughs> did he did he get, top deck a set of the wreckage? That's what he needs. Oh, but we top deck Torrential Gear Hulk in that game. Yeah. There's yeah, he can't win. GG's. GG's. Get in for lethal. He might have cast out or something. All right. Against a control matchup, negate is a must. Unsummon against our own guys might actually be reasonable. Supreme Will is necessary. Those are necessary. Sensor, not really going to do much. Honestly, I think the deck's fine. I think we just bring in a negate and take out Ness and scatter. I think that's just it. That's all we can do. Our deck is pretty already geared towards this deck. We still need some essence scatters because he's going to bring in things like um, Regal Caracal. He's going to bring in his own Torrential Gear Hulks. So negates are important though. Sweepers, removal, stuff like that. But we should be okay. It's going to be interesting. I mean, this is already a 21 minute video. So as much as I enjoy extra ad revenue, it's a, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. That's a 20 minute game, but yeah, we should be good. I, I can't believe we've had two control matchups like this. This de mono blue is just the best deck against any control deck. Just because everything it runs is counter spells, like nothing you have is gonna resolve. He's bringing in all the counter spells he has, so it's gonna be a little bit closer than it was this game. But we'll see. All right. What do we got here? Two lands Brawl, Gale Strike, Negate, Trunchal Gear Hulk, Monument. We'll keep. We're on the draw, so I feel okay with playing this hand. He plays a mountain. Looks like he's going to pass. Okay. We draw Desert of the Mindful. Important for our game plan. It's interesting. I wish it was an untapped land, to be honest. Alright, he's going to opt. Oh, he's going to cycle sensor. That's interesting. I, I don't think he cycles sensor until... You know, no longer becomes viable. All right, he plays a planes and passes. We have we're gonna play um, a land. Go to combat, skip combat, and play brawl. If he's got another sensor, he's got another sensor. We just have to have our big stuff resolve. Okay, he's gonna cycle. All right. Brawl resolves. So I think actually he has a chance to win that last game. Because remember when he cast out our Brawl and we had Kefnet's Monument out? If he casts out Kefnet's Monument, we don't we couldn't squeeze in as many tricks as we did. But he didn't. Um We actually just play Desert of the Mindful here. The reason being for that is I do want to leave up in a gate. For anything like Glimmer Genius. Go to combat. If he wants to kill this, he can kill this. I don't really care. It's good at cycling cards early. It's a good 1-3 blocker. Oh, near my dog. She was sleeping all day. And now she's finally waking up. Okay. He's going to play Field of Ruin. Probably take out... No, we don't have Ifnu Rivulet. There's no point in taking anything out. He taps. He taps. Search for us, Kanta can't resolve. It just can't. If he wants to fight over this, he can. That's just card draw. Okay. Uh, yes, we'd like to draw. Another Gear Hulk. I'm thinking. We have to discard something. We can't discard Gear Hulks. They are too crucial in this matchup. I think we get rid of Gale Strike. I think that's the right play. Getting rid of one of our three Gear Hulks just 
not not a good plan it's not a very viable plan it's not a very good plan all right he's passing we draw a desert of the mindful we play well we got a combat Let's see if he's got a trick for this it'd be bad if he censors our kevnet's monument all right oh we skip combat missed the point of damage well, we're going to play Desert of the Mindful and tap out for Kefnet's Monument. It resolves. Okay. That lets us play Torrential Gear Hulk next turn. And my dog's coming back to sleep or just walk around my room. Regal Caracal. I told you he would sideboard it in. I don't know why, though. It doesn't seem good. Like, people are like, oh, maybe he's... I don't know. All right, we're going to tap out for Unesh. Doesn't really matter. Unesh is going to resolve. All right. Brawl and a whole bunch of lands. It's fine. Hi, doggy. He's separating them in two piles like this. Honestly, I would just leave Brawl by himself, but whatever. Uh, I'm not going to attack into a board of three threes and two twos. Alright. If he can keep if we can keep this Unesh alive, we're our card advantage is gonna go through the roof. Just through the roof. We're gonna have a a two mana glyph keeper that draws us potentially at least one card, maybe two. Oh my god. He's looking for an answer. Oh please let this be. Please let us keep this. Doggy. Everyone in the video can hear you. Yeah. Another Regal Caracal. That's actually kind of bad for us. Everything's huge. Oh. We don't have any sweepers. It's actually a problem. We do have Gale Strikes. Gale Strikes, I don't know, are helpful, though. <laughs> I would attack with the 4 4 if I were him. He's not going to. He thinks we'll trade, but we're not. Um, I would like to play a two mana Glyph Keeper. Tap down one of those, but it doesn't really tap it down because, you know. You know. Alright, I'm hoping this Sphinx draws us into a Sphinx. There's another Sphinx. Would you look at that? This is a really, really good four cards here. This is a tough decision. Do we want more board advantage? Because if he fumigates, it hurts his board more. Gale Str interesting choice. I, I, I gotta pick the negate plus the Sphinx. So this Sphinx costs three. Oh, we can't play a land. We can go Brawl. Oh, we already have a Brawl. Oh, we already have a Brawl. <laughs> All our stuff is so cheap. It's so stupid. Sphinx. <laughs> Six of the go see for three mana. Whatever. <laughs> we get more card draw. Ooh. Just keep it coming, man. Give me the card advantage. Give me the card advantage. Give me the board. Give me everything. Just give it all to me. This is a problem for him. That he, he, I just drew. Since he didn't kill Unesh, I have drawn two cards and potentially two more. Four cards while putting a 5 3 and a 6 6 flyer out. If he splits it like this, I actually take this pile. I think we need Kefnet. I don't think we need more Sphinxes. I think Kefnet's too good. Okay. Go to combat. Get in with Unesh. Bonk him down to 15. Discard Brawl. All right. He might just Fumigate. No, he's looking for a Fumigate. He's looking for an, any answer, but we have a Negate up. This is good for us. 
he has got a whole bunch of lifelink. He has 12, 6, he has 20 lifelink on the board. So maybe we do let a Fumigate resolve. I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe a Fumigate. If he attacks, we trade, trade. Yeah, we trade into the Lords. And then he's stuck with a whole bunch of 1-1 one, one lifelinkers. I attack with everything here, if I'm him. If he passes, that's a mistake. I think he's dead if he doesn't pass. If he passes. 11, 15. I have exactly lethal. Um, If you're going to give me lethal, this is 6, 11, 15. That's lethal. Okay. Well, I'm glad... <laughs> We got a negate and a torrential gear hulk to back this up, so we got it. I think he's probably now realizing, like, oh shoot, I should have attacked with everything to gain twenty life. All right, he realizes it. Okay. Wow. Now this is the problem. This is why I love this deck. Look, Kefnet's Monument. When I made my Mono Blue Sphinx decks, a lot of people have always criticized me for putting in specific cards into decks, like Kefnet's Monument, Dark Intimations, uh, Driven to Despair, those type of cards. People say, oh, they're bad cards. Like they're no, They don't get tournament play. They don't get this. It doesn't have to get tournament play to be good. I think Kefnet's Monument plus Unesh plus just Mono Blue Sphinxes is just the strongest... The strongest combo there is right now. I love this deck. This is why I built my Kef this Praise Kefnet deck around my uh, Mono Blue Sphinx decks. Like, obviously, we lost um, Sphinx of the Final Word. And we lost that Surge Sphinx that can be played for one mana if you have a uh, Unesh out. Um, but we still have things like Glyph Keeper, Sphinx of Magosi. And uh, we have a Curator of Mysteries. I'm not playing it in this deck, though. It's not very good in what we're trying to do. And just having, you know, playing a whole bunch of these big things, you need a Kefnet's Monument. You need to squeeze in. When you're a blue deck, you have to leave up counters. It's just something you have to do. Like, you can't just be like, oh, I have six mana. If I had a Kefnet's Monument out, or like a Brawl Chief of Compliance, like I did in that game, there's times, like, in that last game right there, there was an example. I, I don't remember the exact example, even though it happened, like, five minutes ago. But you have a Kefnet's Monument out and a Brawl, and all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I can play this, and if anything goes wrong, I have that one mana that I can use Brawl to negate something. Like, that one extra mana that Kefnet's Monument saves on our big mono blue creatures. Mono blue big creatures are the best creatures, in my opinion. Even better than green. They're just the funnest creatures to play. They're hard to kill. They're usually flying. They give you card advantage. And sometimes they have flash. Like, just giving, like, Torrential Gear Hulk, five mana. Uh, Unesh, five mana. Uh, Sphinx, five mana. Uh, Glyph Keeper, four mana. Brawl, one mana. Like, if you brawl one mana and then leave up a one mana counter spell for him, like when they try to kill it on end step... That, that's two mana. Two mana that you played a creature, and then countered something, and then looted a card. Like, do you guys see what I'm trying to say here? Just because the ability on Kefnet's Monument isn't strong, doesn't mean, like, the, the, the um, cast a spell ability, whenever you cast a blue creature spell ability, isn't strong, doesn't mean the ability to cast blue creatures for one less isn't strong, and that this card isn't good. People, I've had people on the... I usually um, post my deck lists on deck stats, not neck. And I'm, now I know, I'm going into a full-blown rant, and I'll probably make this into a separate video. But people on deckstats.net, that's the place where I make my deck lists, and I put them links in the description. Usually people use, like, tappedout.net or um, MTG Goldfish, stuff like that. But I use this deck stats, and people, like, when I put my Mono Blue Sphinx in, I'm like, this this deck is strong. I went When I was playtesting with it, I playtested, like, 10 games because I love the deck. I went like eight and two or something stupid like that. Eight and two. Granted, this is before the meta was structured, but eight and two is not something to be given up lightly. And the biggest part of that vict those victories for me was Kefnet's Monument. Was being able to cast things for one less. And uh, people, not only in my YouTube comments, but in these deckstats.net comments, were telling me, 
Captain's Monument, not sold on it. Not a good card. Like when I when I say in a video that Kefnet's Monument, that saving a mana on your creature is good, people are like, oh yeah, I guess a five mana Torrential Gear Hulk is cool. I guess a five mana Udash is cool, but is it really that good? It doesn't drain, it doesn't give you card advantage. It only works if they're tapped. Like just because one part of the card doesn't work doesn't mean it's absolutely insane. All right, ran over. <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's why I I don't win I have I don't win this game and I don't win my mono blue mill game if Kefnet's monuments not in that's how much I love that card and the same thing with dark animations people are like oh this is a meme card silly they put it in for flavor same thing with Kefnet's monument they put it in for flavor it's silly it's a meme no in the right decks and I've put them in the right decks both dark animations and Kefnet's monument they are very good very 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 good. So that's it. That's my little spiel on Kefnet's Monument and a little bit on Dark Intimations. I tried to explain to people in my Praise Bullets deck deck that Dark Intimations was good. People still doubted me. People watched my gameplay and so I'm like, holy crap, this card is actually insane. You get so much value. I'm like, I've been saying this for like four months. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and a little random at the end. And I will see you in the final gameplay tomorrow.